guys, it's Cassie. Today I'm going to be talking through what to buy from the new Louis Vuitton Cruise Collection 2021 and also maybe one you should stir away from. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I buy videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so the collection dropped online I think it is trickling through into stores soon, if not now. And this is the Game On collection. I'm gonna tackle the items as they come on the screen. I have a problem with the Louis Vuitton shawls only because they are much more delicate than I need them to be, okay? Mine are like pulling out, they're like runs through it and whatever. If you're a very delicate person, if you're a scarf collector, then maybe this is for you. I don't actually hate the print that much. I think it's uh, very f fun. This is the thing about these kinds of very distinctive collections is that they do have that limited edition vibe which means that you know obviously this is a little bit different from the usual range of scarves so if you wanted to have something you know a little bit more limited edition or whatever then fair enough i also see that this is reversible so hold on a second she's a two in one this scarf there's far too much happening here for my eyes However, it also seems to be reversible. Good for them. Now, yeah, this scarf, there's like, you've got small monograms, you've then got the icons, you've then got the hearts in there. There's, oh, there's, there's a lot happening here. I, I really don't need to tell you why. Bag charms aren't worth it, okay? I've said this before. Please don't be spending 380 pounds on some bag charms. Please, we're past that. Okay, don't do it to yourself. This bracelet also, no, please. These sort of like little leather bracelet things, don't bother. They're very like, a little bit juvenile-y. They very much remind me of like the Dior friendship bracelet things. I, I think they're a waste, don't bother, put your money elsewhere kind of thing. The arch light trainers. Now, you know, I love a good pair of arch lights. I think they're great. They're not for everyone though. They, you do walk a bit weird. They're very statementy, but if that's what you're after, they're great. And I think that this is a really, really great one that they've done for this collection. So you've got the all white arch light, but then you've got just a little injection of the collection. And that's what I love. I love it when they do just a little bit, not too much. And that's where they're living on this arch light. So I think this is a great purchase. You've got that little red heart there. You've got the LV, you've got a little sodding flower, and then you've got the monogram trim around the tongue and whatever this back pit bit part is of the shoe. Simple, easy to style. You've got a little smattering of the collection, but it's not like in your face. Oh, the clothes. Oh, the clothes. Okay, all righty. I I don't, I've got no, it's a lot of colour blocking. This kind of thing, we don't need. Okay, it's just, oh, the, the, oh there's a lot happening. I think that's all right. I think the knitted jumper in it, no, I don't. I think there's a lot, I think there's a lot. I don't know what it is about this collection, but the print can be like so much so easily. So I think like for a lot of these, especially when they're mixing it here, you've got a lot of that print happening. Then you've got something different happening in the neck and the neck and the other elastic places. Like there's just like, we need to just rein it into one, please. But then you see, I like it how they've done it on these shorts because this is so easily matched with, okay? With this, you've just got the whole print across it. This white bodysuit, white t-shirt bodysuit in the winter, these shorts, done, trainers, that kind of thing. Yeah, these I find very easy to style, very cute, okay? Right, let's, let's get on to the real, the real kicker, the bags. Okay, we move on to this, and this to me is very interesting, okay? They're here, they're telling me it's a set, and a set would imply that you get both. So for 2,000, Are they separate? Yeah. I think this is a pretty good deal. Is that not a pretty good deal? Mother, mother child flex. Partner flex. Best friend flex. Be like, listen, we're both, we're, we're both loving this. Go halves, you get one, I get one. Amazing. I think, I think 
I think they need to be doing a couple more of these sets. But uh, let's actually talk about the design. The, 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 the little one I don't hate. The little one I don't hate. You get a little bit of that heart with the, with the flower thing happening on the side there. You get just a little bit of it. Again, the right amount of this collection. But then the one on the back has got that like really crap four, four coloured heart. That looks awful, that heart just on there, on that big one, ruined it. You're gonna have to wear it the other sodden way around. The little one, it works. The big one, it's not working. Okay, then we've got the speedy. The speedy with this. If you're a speedy collector, go off. If you don't have a big collection and you're considering this, I wouldn't. That is just... Mm, I don't know why. It's giving me, like, American subscribers. Hear me out here. Is it giving you 4th of July vibes? Because it's giving me them. But, once again, I'm not American. <gasps> it gets worse. It gets worse. What is that? Is that just straight on the... Oh, God. Right. Here we go. This is how they should have done it. They should have just kept that. But no. Right. That is on the back of it, it seems. On the side of it... You've got a Louis Vuitton playing card. On the other side of it, you've got a sort of another weird playing card with that crappy heart again. And then this thing, I don't, I can't even tell you what that is, that design or whatever. They should have just, whatever, whatever. I'm not a designer. The speedy, once again. The playing card just ruins it. The playing card makes it look like some graphic design project in, in a secondary school. That's how it makes it look. That looks... that is... and then you've got that like weird trim at the top of it. No. Petit Mal. That works, right? If you like this kind of pattern, that works. It's not offending me. That is just like, it's, it's cute, it's alright, off you go, you know? Here we go. This is the big one. This is going to be the big seller. It's a heart-shaped bag. It gives me kind of watch chapeau super vibes. It's a heart. You've got two zips that zip from the inside out so you're not having to like go over that dip in the zip, right? So you've got two little zips. It's just a hole inside. Live your best life. It's a heart. Here we go. Once again, if you're a collector, if you have quite a big bag collection, then I think this is a good one. If you're just starting out and you don't have very many bags, don't get this. I think you're going to get bored easily, right? Because of how specific a shape it is. This is just my thoughts. I know it's going to be hot. I know it's going to sell. It's cute. It's a very cute bag. I don't think the price is bad. One, five, ten in pounds. But I think it's something that might die very easily. But at the same time, it's going to be like a semi-iconic piece. I don't know. I'm in two minds about this. But I quite like, I mean, I quite like it. Am I going to buy it? No, I'm not really like somebody that would wear heart things. That's just not my vibe. But if you are, then maybe this is for you. Um, another equally awful, just that sudden playing card. Just like, it's just, this is awful. Game on twist PM chain bag with that horrible sodden heart in the background of it. Maybe this just is not my aesthetic. Hearts are not my aesthetic. Am I just coming across as like some like cold hearted witch? Hearts really aren't my aesthetic. I'm not really into like, it's just all too novelty for me, this collection. It's a soft square bag and it looks like a dice. If you've got a very large collection such that, you know, you can have like novelty pieces and stuff like that, like, oh, you could wear that. If you're having a casino night, very appropriate. If you're going to Vegas, maybe if you go to Vegas like a hell of a lot and you want like a Vegas themed wardrobe, go off. But otherwise, mm -mm. this just makes me want to cry in a corner for like days. Game on pochette cart clutch. Don't buy it. The only reason you would buy this bag is if you're a very passionate croupier. It's sort of thin. It looks like cards. The back of it looks better than the front. And even then, I still hate it. This card holder, though, this is the thing. That card holder's kind of cute. Again, just a smattering, just a smattering. You could have that. That's kind of cute in your bag. 
but you don't want that on a bag, you know? You see there's a big difference, okay? And then you've got this game on cube coin purse, which I do think is very cute. Just sort of rolling around your bag. I actually missed a couple of other items that I would like to address now. So the first one is the Zoe wallet. I think SLGs, especially from collections like this, which are very statementy, are a really great purchase because I think that it allows you to have a little bit of fun with it without having to commit to something like a bag, you know? Um, but the other thing I really, really like from this that I think is totally worth getting is the cosmetics pouch. I think it's such a great piece that if you have one of the normal ones and you obviously have the capacity and uh, the makeup for another, I think it will be so cute to have like one of these from this kind of collection and one from the permanent collection, you know, just like side by side, very cute sisters, not twins situation, you know? I don't hate the pattern that they've got on it. I think it looks really cute, especially for like a vanity and makeup and skincare and all that other goodness. There you go. Let me know your thoughts. It's a bit of a weird collection for me because I think some pieces have just done it the right amount and the rest of them are just like they've taken the concept and they've run far too, far past the finish line you know you're not getting any points for going past the finish line you know those are my thoughts let me know what you think in the comments i'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys